Okay. Top five Netflix shows I watched. They're actually decent shows. And we're going television shows here. There's so many of them. First, where is it? Where is it? Scream. Remember the movie? About the guy with the... Oh, yeah. Scream. It's been on for three years on Netflix. Paranoid about receiving the next victims. The group begins receiving ominous... <clears throat> Mason is then strategizes the trap. But the anonymous killer strikes again. It's about the guy with the mask and the knife. And it's really just silly, honestly. But it's a good one. He starts out like he's a boy. And like, the boy in the scream costume. Like, disappears. Then like, the, the, this is an African-American boy. And he goes up and like, he's in high school. And they flash forward. That's a good shot. Next, um, Flash. Flash. Barry takes on multiple gunmen who storm an award ceremony. He's attending with Iris, but side makes for his new superpower catch up to him. Danielle Pannenbrecher. Candace Patton. Danielle Pannenbrecher is the only one I know from this, but it's a good show. It's about like a super horror, superhero kind of a thing. Um, Marvel. Oh, The Blacklist. The Blacklist is good. I think I've seen a little bit of it. A criminal mastermind surrenders to the FBI with a stunning offer to catch an elusive terrorist. We have only taught the specific Ricky Profiler. That's pretty good. Um, next, Game of Thrones. Let's see Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones is not on here. There's your own good shows to Game of Thrones. Let's go House of Cards. House of Cards. 